Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's an open the box and an unboxing of a brand new game. It is The Dark Summer, Normandy 1944. D Day and the Battle for Normandy, June the 6th to August 21st. Game designed by Ted Racier and published by GMT Games. So, what's all this about? On the 6th of June 1944, the Western Allies landed in Normandy and, after bloody fighting, gained a lodgement in Nazi-occupied France. It took three months of vicious fighting before the Allies finally wore down the German forces and broke out and overran France. The Dark Summer, Normandy 1944, is the latest in Ted S. Racer's World War II operational series that began with the Dark Valley, the East Front Campaign, 1941 to 1945. The game uses a chit pull activation system that determines both the order and type of each side's action during the game's 10 action-packed turns. The unknown activation sequence means that neither player can take anything for granted. The Dark Summer covers the entire battle from June the 6th to August 21st, 1944. Victory is determined by the Allies capturing Cherbourg, exiting units to Brittany and Paris, and preventing the exiting of German units. Players can also win a sudden death victory if they achieve remarkable success before the end of the game. The Dark Summer is a game of moderate complexity, but nevertheless covers all the important elements of the campaign. There are rules for the D-Day landings, bocage terrain, untried units, air support, naval support, carpet bombing, assault guns, Allied artillery superiority, US tank destroyers, and German naval warfare and flak guns. A game on an epic campaign that is playable in a single day's gaming, with a small footprint that will allow it to be left set up for study. The Dark Summer, Normandy 1944, is a must-have for fans of World War II operational games or students of the campaign for Northwest Europe. So, what have we got in the box? We've got one 22-inch by 34-inch map sheet, two counter sheets, one rules booklet, one playbook with examples of play and designer's notes, two identical combat and terrain player aid cards, one chart and tables card, and a six-sided die. The game scale, units are regiments and brigades with a few battalions. The time scale, each turn is a quarter of a month, and the map scale is two and a quarter miles per hex. Game credits, game design of course, Ted S. Racer, development, Ivan Blair, map and counter art, Charles Kibler and Chad Jensen, and the box cover art, Marcos Vigaroel. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Here's some of the counters and players one to two, ages 14 plus, time four plus hours. And on the complexity scale, it's five out of nine and the solitaire suitability, seven out of nine. Right, let's get the shrink wrap off. The shrink wrap is off, so let's open the box. It's a one and a half inch box, one of their sturdy types. So first thing we see are the rules. These come in at 24 pages, full color, glossy. So what have we got here? We've got table of contents, introduction, components, the map and the counters. All about the player aid cards, terms and abbreviations. Set up in victory. Sequence of play stacking limits. Zones of control, 
and the weather. Reinforcements and replacements. Action rounds. Movement. Emergency withdrawal. Combat. Mm. Combat support markers, allied carpet bombing, allied tactical air support and naval support, US tank destroyers. There's the German Nebelwerfer. Supply. German assault gun, optional to give the Germans a little bit of help. Attrition, Allied Operational Boundary. There we are. And some general rule reminders and D-Day reminders. Them's the rules. Next is the 20 page playbook. Again, full color, glossy, with extended example of play. Some people love these extended play examples. Others just want to get on and play it. There we are, nice pictures. And some great historical pictures here. And the designer's notes. Oh, Mr. Page. Ah, just the counters, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And then the index. There we go. Next, we have two identical player aid charts. So we'll have a look at those. Combat results table, weather effects, Sherborg combat table. And on the other side, the terrain effects chart. Next is a single player aid, number two. It shows the action chit availability, sequence of play, and the replacement and rebuilding units tables. On the other side, we've got some general rule reminders. How to win with sudden death, victory and the Allied and German victory point tables. Two sheets of counters. Here's the first one. They are actually 9 sixteenths in size. Brown core, so quite thick. We've got the Americans, the Brits, Canadians, uh, Polish. That's the reduced side. Second sheet is mainly the Germans with the SS down here. And there's the other side. A D6. And the last thing is the map. So let's have a look at that. So here's the map in all its glory. Sorry about the glare here and there. It's on quite shiny paper, but it looks very nice. So let's have a close up. So here's the top left of the map. Here we've got Utah, Point de Hoc, Omaha Beach. And sort of off map spaces for the airfields in England. 
Here's the Sherborg box. I think some people are a little disappointed that's been represented by a box. And over here we have Gold, Juno and Sword. And the Eastern Exit box there. So the train is quite easy to distinguish. Here's Aramanche. Car. And moving down. Fillets here. St. Low. And then right over here on the left hand side, we've got the train key, the action round track, turn record track, victory point track, and the current weather. That's the map. So this has been an open the box, an unboxing of the Dark Summer, Normandy, 1944, D-Day and the Battle for Normandy, June the 6th to August 21st, designed by Ted Racer and published by GMT Games. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I know I say it every time, but it really does help. The other thing that helps a lot is liking the video, pushing the old thumbs up. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, push the bell, leave a comment. I get loads of comments, which is great. And I try to answer every one, but sometimes I miss them. And if I've missed yours, I apologize. But let me know, how does this compare to the other games in Ted's Dark series? And thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you very much indeed. Just before I go, one last thing. If you want to support the channel a little bit further, well, now you can. You can buy the channel a coffee. And those coffees go towards fueling the channel and enabling it to continue to upload new content. If you want to check that out, I shall leave a link in the description and thank you. So until next time, as always, you take care and goodbye.